a really great performance um, from a batting point of view. I think um, you know we weren't at our best tonight in the field and with the ball, um, but it just just goes to show you know the character in the dressing room and um, there were some really special knocks from uh, a few lads tonight. Um, and yeah, just count myself quite fortunate to be able to get us over the line with uh, with Benji out there. What was set up the interval? Uh, Carlos was raging, absolutely raging. To be honest with you, he just uh, yeah he put us in a place pretty quickly. He said shut the doors. Um, he said that yeah I won't repeat what he said, but um, yeah then he just gave us the confidence and uh, a few words to go out and chase it and um, yeah it worked. So maybe we should try that more often. <laughs> Strong performance from Alec Davis that really set the tone, didn't it? Yeah, yeah he's. Um, I think he'd be the first person to admit, you know, he hasn't scored the uh, the runs that he probably would have liked this tournament. But I think it just goes to show the character of of the individual and um, you know the strengths he has to come out and play like that, take the pressure off me. It was a it was a pretty awesome knock, and uh, yeah, I'm quite grateful for that because I got off to a bit of a slow start. So credit goes to him. You gave yourself time because Benjamin gave with the support. That was a special partnership, wasn't it? Yeah, again, I enjoy batting with Benji. We've done a few times this year. We spent a bit of time in the middle and. Um, yeah, we well, you know what a great player he is. He's got all the shots and he's got fantastic composure at the crease. And um, I really enjoy batting with him, so it was great to be there at the end with him. It was a Bears record chase. We got the highest T20 blast score, 261, just a week ago. Mm. This lineup can really fire, can't it? It can, but, uh, you know, I think, as I asked you just before the interview started, I think it's maybe the fifth or the sixth time that we've passed 200 um, this campaign. So I think it just goes to show how far this batting unit's come. And, you know, we've had some. Pretty average days, some of them at home, but we'll be looking to turn that around on Friday night. But yeah, I think credit goes to the batting, you know, passing 200, it just goes to show the intent and the confidence that we're taking out there. So hopefully we can take that into Friday and the, the last two great group games next week as well. You're in class four. You've got over 2,000 T20 runs following this performance. You must be, whenever you go out in the middle, you must see it like a beach ball. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I'm just taking each day as it comes at the moment and um, just trying to embrace every day. You know, it, I am seeing the ball nicely and, um, but I put a lot of that down to the, the work that I've been doing. So, um, yeah, it's, it's great to be contributing to the team's uh, winning. And, um, yeah, hopefully long may it can continue. We edge into second. We've got Derby Day at home, our final home game on Friday. That's a really big game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think, uh, what, we pre-sold 15, 16,000. So, hopefully there should be around, you know, 17, 18 on TV. Uh, and the Holly should be pumping. So, um, I think nothing will motivate a player more than... Uh, a scenario like that so hopefully we can um, put in a performance like we have tonight um, and take two points.